Isatis tinctoria, with rhodoglastum as the common name, is a flowering plant in the family Brassicaceae. It is commonly called Dyer's woad. It is occasionally known as Asp of Jerusalem. Woad is also the name of a blue dye produced from the leaves of the plant. Woad is native to the steppe and desert zones of the Caucasus, Central Asia to Eastern Siberia and Western Asia but is now found in Southeastern and Central Europe as well. Long important as a source of blue dye, it has been cultivated throughout Europe, especially in Western and Southern Europe, since ancient times. In medieval times there were important woad growing regions in England, Germany and France. Towns such as Toulouse became prosperous from the woad trade. Woad was eventually replaced by the stronger indigo and, in the early 20th century, both woad and indigo were replaced by synthetic indigos. Used in traditional Chinese medicine for centuries, woad is now being studied for use in the treatment of cancer. There has also been some revival of the use of woad for craft purposes. History of woad cultivation. Equals ancient use equals, the first archaeological finds of woad seeds date to the Neolithic. The seeds have been found in the French cave of Laudost, Bouches du Rene. Impressions of the seeds of far currency Rubeweed or German indigo, of the plant family, have been found on pottery in the Iron Age settlement of the Hunberg, Germany. The Hallstatt burials of Hochdorf and Derines and Homer Chell contain textiles dyed with far currency Rubeweed. Malo and Ronda Pandol write that woad was known as far back as the time of the ancient Egyptians who used it to dye the cloth wrappings applied for the mummies. Skelton informs us that one of the early dyes discovered by the ancient Egyptians was blue woad. Lucas writes, what has been assumed to have been Indian indigo on ancient Egyptian fabrics may have been woad. Hall states that the ancient Egyptians created their blue dye by using indigotin, otherwise known as woad. Julius Caesar reported that the Britanni used to color their bodies blue with vitrum, a word that roughly translates to glass. Many have assumed that vitrum refers to woad, but other modern authors regard this as a misconception, possibly repeated for political reasons. Caesar may have been describing some form of copper or iron-based pigment. The northern inhabitants of Britain came to be known as Picts, meaning painted ones in Latin, which was due to accounts of them painting or tattooing their bodies. However, Modern experiments with woad show it does not work as a tattoo pigment, is caustic and causes scarring when put into the skin. Equals the medieval period onwards equals. Woad was one of the three staples of the European dyeing industry, along with weld and madder. Chaucer mentions their use by the dyer in his poem The Former Age. No mader, welder, or would no lighter steer. Ne knew. The fleas was of his former hue. The three colors can be seen together in tapestries such as the Hunt of the Unicorn, though typically it is the dark blue of the wood that has lasted best. In Viking Age levels at archaeological digs at York, a dye shop with remains of both wood and madder has been excavated and dated to the 10th century. In medieval times, centers of wood cultivation lay in Lincolnshire and Somerset in England, Jarwan Quarterlick and the Erfurt area in Thuringia in Germany, Piedmont and Tuscany in Italy and Gascogne, Normandy, the Somme Basin, Brittany and, above all, Languedoc in France. This last region, in the triangle created by Toulouse, Albi, and Carcassonne, was for a long time the most productive of woad, or pastel as it was known there, one writer commenting that woad hath made that country the happiest and richest in Europe. The prosperous woad merchants of Toulouse displayed their affluence and splendid mansions, many of which are still standing. One merchant, Jean de Bermui, a Spanish Jew who had fled the Inquisition, was creditworthy enough to be the main guarantor of the ransomed King Francis I after his capture at the Battle of Pavia by Charles V of Spain. Much of the wood produced here was used for the cloth industry in southern France, but it was also exported via Bayonne, Narbonne and Bordeaux to Flanders, the Low Countries, Italy, and above all Britain and Spain. A major market for woad was at Gar Paragraph RLITZ in Silesia. The citizens of the five Thuringian far currency Rubeweid towns of Erfurt, Gotha, Tenstedt, Arnstadt, and Langenzelzer had their own charters. In Erfurt, the woad traders gave the funds to found the University of Erfurt. 
traditional fabric is still printed with woad in Thuringia, Saxony and Lusatia today, it is known as Blordruck. Medieval uses of the dye were not limited to textiles. For example, the illustrator of the Lindisfarne Gospels used a woad-based pigment for blue paint. Woad and indigo. The dye chemical extracted from woad is indigo, the same dye extracted from true indigo, indigo or tinctoria, but in a lower concentration. Following the European discovery of the seaway to India, great amounts of indigo were imported from Asia. Laws were passed in some parts of Europe to protect the woad industry from the competition of the indigo trade. It was proclaimed that indigo caused yarns to rot. In 1577 the German government officially prohibited the use of indigo, denouncing it as that pernicious, deceitful and corrosive substance, the devil's dye. A recess of the diet held in 1577 prohibited the use of the newly invented, deceitful, eating and corrosive dye called the devil's dye. This prohibition was repeated in 1594 and again in 1603. In France, Henry IV, in an edict of 1609, forbade under pain of death the use of the false and pernicious Indian drug. With the development of a chemical process to synthesize the pigment, both the woad and natural indigo industries collapsed in the first years of the 20th century. The last commercial harvest of woad until recent times occurred in 1932, in Lincolnshire, Britain. Small amounts of woad are now grown in the UK and France to supply craft dyers. The classic book about woad is The Woad Plant and Its Dye by J. B. Hurry, Oxford University Press of 1930, which contains an extensive bibliography. A method for producing indigo dye from woad is described in the history of woad and the medieval woad vat ISBN 0-9534133-0-6. Woad is biodegradable and safe in the environment. In Germany, there have been attempts to use it to protect wood against decay without applying dangerous chemicals. Production of woad is increasing in the UK for use in inks, particularly for inkjet printers, and dyes. The plant can cause problems, however, Isatis tinctoria is classified as an invasive species in parts of the United States. Woad and health, chemicals from woad might be used to prevent cancer, as it can produce high levels of glucobrassicin. Young leaves when damaged can produce more glucobrassicin, up to 65 times as much. Indigo woad root is a traditional Chinese medicine herb that comes from the roots of woad. Literature on traditional Chinese medicine uses the scientific name Isatis indigotica, although this name is usually considered synonymous with Isatis tinctoria by botanists. It is also known as Radix isatidis. The herb is cultivated in various regions of northern China, namely Hebei, Beijing, Heilongjiang, Henan, Jiangsu, and Gansu. The roots are harvested during the autumn and dried. The dried roots is processed into granules, which are most commonly consumed dissolved in hot water or tea. The product is very popular throughout China. Possible minor side effects include allergic reactions and dizziness. Only large dosages or long-term usage can be toxic to the kidneys. Treatments have not generally been evaluated clinically. Invasive and noxious weed, in certain locations, the plant is classified as a non-native and invasive weed. It is listed as a noxious weed by the agriculture departments of several states in the western United States, Arizona, California, Colorado, Idaho, Montana, Nevada, New Mexico, Oregon, Utah, Washington, and Wyoming. In Montana, it has been the target of an extensive, and largely successful, eradication attempt. References 24. Renate Kaiser Alexnet, Wonder Woad. Experiences involving human and plant a Euro, especially Woad a Euro, reported in Pictures and Stories a Euro a Publi GmbH, Berlin, 2013. ISBN 978 3 8442 4 External links, woad.org.uk, All About Woad, Cultivation, Extraction. Dying with Woad, History and Facts about Woad, The Former Woad Industry Rex Wales in Transactions of the Newcomen Society, 1935-36 vol 16. The Problem of the Woad, 
SAD bunking the myth of woad as a tattoo pigment, USDA information on Isatis tinctoria, woad and its misassociation with Pictish body art.